All right, guys, the first thing that we are going to do is with our larger of our two hooks, and you see that your end or your nine millimeter will be your larger one, and you do want to keep these loose. You're going to chain 40, okay? So just four, 40 basic chains. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. All right, I have my 40 chained here. Now what you need to do is you're going to half double crochet in the third from the chain. So one, two, three. You're going to wrap your yarn over and you're going to insert it in that third um, hook or hook um, stitch. And I am double checking, I think, um, somewhere it says that you're going to be working mostly in the back loops. Let me double check and make sure. And I mean that's totally up to you if you want to do it in the back loops. But uh, yeah that's when we get to the next row I believe. Um, Yeah, I believe that's going to be on your next rows. Okay, so just go ahead and complete that half double. So you're going to pull your yarn through, wrap your hook, and pull through all three. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do that all the way across. It will leave you with a 38 half double crochet. All right, I'm at the end of my row. Now for row two, you need to chain two. And then you're going to turn. Now this is where you're going to start doing your front post half double crochets, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to skip the first one, which is this one. I need to zoom in a bit for you. Okay, you're going to skip this one, the one you're in. You're going to go to the next one, and you're going to work front post half double crochet in each across. So that means you're going to yarn over. You're going to grab this post here. You're not going to work in the stitch. You're only going to work in your post. You see your post right here and you got your space under there. You're going to take your hook and go under and in the back of it. That way it pushes your um, your post forward. And then you're going to complete your half double crochet. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. So you're going to yarn over, go under the next post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. All right, one more time, you yarn over, go in the next space and around the back of the post, yarn over and pull it through, yarn over and pull through all three. And that is what's going to give you um, your ridges here. Um, gives you nice uh, thickness as well. So what you want to do is do that all the way across. All right, guys, I'm back. One thing that I need to mention is it may be um, easier if we go back to the very beginning here and put a stitch marker in to let you know this is the row you started with. You don't have to. I didn't on the first one, but I feel it'll make it a little easier because once you start doing these front post half double crochets, it gets a little confusing So to count the rows and sometimes if you're still new it's a little hectic to do that alright so you're now here at the end now you still have two here to do and you do have to do the last one they are calling for you in this pattern to complete that last one so this right here you are still going to go underneath that and complete a double crochet a front post double crochet as well so don't forget the little end one there okay now what you're going to do here, you're going to chain two and you're going to turn your work and you are going to go back across and do the same exact row six times, okay? So you've already done it once, you're going to do it six more times and it's going to give you a total of seven. So keep in mind, you chain two every time you turn. You're going to skip this first one and then you're going to yarn over and go under the next post, okay? These are not quite as visible as the first ones, um, but you're, you know, they're pretty visible. You're just going to have to um, move your stitches around a little bit to get them under there. 
okay so what you need to do is do this six more times and once it's done on my end I'll be back we'll move on to the next round